I'm Quentin Pru. And I'm Simon Wen, reporting live from Channel FIDS News. Our top story today, a new concept in the world of physics, momentum. This concept is taking the public by storm, affecting people everywhere. For those who don't know yet, momentum is a quantity of motion, calculated by multiplying an object's mass with its velocity. This is expressed with the formula P equals mv, with P being momentum, m being mass, and v being velocity. Oh, hold on. I, I just received word that something momentous is happening. Let's go to our field reporter, Brendan Walsh, live at the scene. Yo, you hear Kyrie's out for the season? Oh, thanks, Simon. I'm here reporting live from your backyard uh, at the soccer ball. And as you can see, as I kick the soccer ball, the momentum of my kick is transferred to the stationary ball. Stationary ball. The ball, because it's initially at rest, the initial momentum of the ball is zero. My foot, which has mass and velocity, has a value of momentum that will be transferred into the ball. Momentum, much like energy and matter, is conserved, meaning the momentum of one object can neither be can neither create be created nor destroyed. Well, back to you guys. Oh, look at that! Buy one get one free raft. We should go one way on a raft then. Thanks, Brandon. Now let's talk about collisions. Quick! Oh, I got it. Where? There are three types of collisions. Inelastic collisions, elastic collisions, and explosions. Elastic collisions involve two objects that collide and bounce off each other. Brendan Walsh is at the scene of the elastic collision. Thanks, Brandon. Inelastic collisions involve two objects that collide and stay together. <laughs> Explosions are when a force drives multiple objects apart. Let's cut to that clip. Thank you for joining us in this segment of Channel Fits News. We're always here to answer your questions about life in general. And for us, the people of A Block and Sean Fiddler, good night, everyone. Good night. See you later.